Trailer. Gentlemen. Yo. Hey, look at this guy. How you doing? How's the trip? How are you now? How was the hey, flight? Get one of them fresh shirts. What's this up? This might or might not save you. Is it going to fall that, out? That's how the yeah, drift HQ yeah, it's definitely going to fall out. Loaded dot. Loaded to the brim. Make me salty a little bit. Damn. It's for everybody, don't worry. Jason, yeah, man. Sorry, Duarte, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Jason. Nice to meet you. Chris. Thank you, Jason. You're going to save my life the whole way. Well, you might trip. save a lot of lives. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Are we in the business of saving happened? lives. Yep. We'll save some laps. You want to talk like Do I want to talk? Uh, yes, we are in Arizona. We made it. Well, we you, in Tucson. you guys drove all the way over we here. We drove all the way here. We, we literally just got off a plane. Tire. We had a blowout before we even got out of Florida. The inner one on this, the valve stem was split in half apparently. Uh, so we had to switch the tires out. Somewhere in Texas, the fuel filter said it was clogged and to pull over immediately. But I was on cruise control doing 75 and it didn't sputter. So I'm like, we're just gonna keep on trucking. Emptied out some codes. The uh, injector started leaking, but it's, again, it's diesel, so it can't catch fire. Uh, so it was an interesting trip, but we stayed at all Holiday Inn Expresses, except for one night we did a Best Western and their, their you know, beds suck. But it was an awesome trip. No hiccups or anything, really. We went and got the car, uh, the van washed this morning, got the oil changed, got that fuel filter fixed I was just mentioning, and uh, we are ready. We're stocked up. Uh, we're going to probably fix a lot of cars this week. I don't want to say that and jinx anything, but it's drift week. This is a lot more strenuous on your car than drag week is, because you're going to be smashing into each other for uh, two weeks, and you got to drive from Arizona all the way down to Florida and hit five tracks in between there. So it should be fun. That's all you get from me. Go away. That's all I get. That's all you get. I didn't get to drink my Red Bull this morning. Somebody I forgot. Stole it. Somebody forgot theirs in the Uber, like usual. So, yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. I gotta wash it. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Bum, 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 bum. Give him two lips. Like roses and clover bum, bum, bum. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over Stuck. Very good. The door's jammed. Straight baller status. This is this crazy, house. dude. Damn. Get, yeah. Get your boss out the car. Come here, I'll pick you up. Shit's stuck. Welcome to our crib. TV cribs, don't shut that door to the left. Got the outside patio, big old grill over here, pool, outside fireplace. What? Water slide? Oh, you know. You already know. Oh. We're going swimming tonight, boys. We're going swimming tonight. And a hot tub. All right. So we are going to go do the meet and greet. Uh, we're supposed to be there by like five or six. So we wanted to pick out our beds and everything and check out the house first. So we're gonna meet all the other drivers uh, in about an hour and get to know everybody. 
It's gonna be cool. We're gonna drink some beer, have a good time. We don't have to be at the track until like tomorrow afternoon. So stay tuned. like a huge ass go-kart track and from the uh the sky view on uh, apple maps it looks pretty dope now we're about to see we're gonna go set up they're still all at the gate trying to get signed in but me and joel uh hopped the line and got our stuff early so here we go it's gonna be from 5 p.m until 2 a.m we're drifting late never drifted this late before even black friday they end at 1 a.m so this is 2 a.m uh mountain time so it, for us, it's really like 4 a.m. we're drifting to. So this should be interesting. Everybody's going to be taking naps, I'm sure. Mark my words, Joel. They're going to be taking naps. Okay. I'm going to. Nap time. Nap time. Yeah, we'll go then, baby, we'll go then. Yeah, about to see it shine, cause we'll go then. They can never break us down, cause we'll go then. They yeah, about to see us glow, cause we'll go then. Yeah, we'll go then. Got the devil in your eyes. 
the circuit for Drift Week. Let's go drive! Well, I'm mad. I'm not really mad, but got good news and bad news. Good news, the track is amazing. Sticky as hell, but amazing. The people here, very cool. Hot track. Get on, get out, drive as much as you want. But she is getting hot and she is losing about a gallon of water every 10 laps or so. So Chelsea came over and said the only solution we have to make it through Drift Week is to put Blue Devil on this thing and just send it. Like we noticed that right before um, coming here, like probably when I took the, the car to Orlando Card Center, we drove it a little bit. It was fine, but I saw that there was steaming um, water through the tank and stuff and we replaced the tank for an aluminum tank thinking it was gonna resolve the issue. It didn't resolve it. It's still losing water. It could be a tiny crack on the head gasket. We don't know, but we gotta fix it, and we still have a long way to go. This is just the first event. It still has like three hours of driving tonight. We're gonna end it here, and we're just gonna take it safe, put the thing in the motor tomorrow, and hopefully this thing lasts. We keep beating on it. It's it's doing fine. Power-wise, it's perfect for what we're doing here, but we wanna make sure the motor is safe. So stay tuned, and tomorrow, hopefully, we got good news for you guys. All the noise stopped. So it's superior, right? Not right now. It's not superior. So you put a new 46 engine in it. Come on. That is true. What's wrong with your door? Don't talk about this thing. Yeah, let's slide for the. Got it. Oh. Hey, after we recovered more.
Okay. Ricky, I want to see you go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 it's really hot water. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, it's fucking burning hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it in. Lock it in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I don't think just flex. <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, that is nice. Right. <laughs> holy hot water. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, God, we're going to get it. Your knee touches the way. It's lubricated. Wow. <laughs> 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 We are at Fine Arc. And, uh, for the last time, been, right? For, huh? For the last time. For the last time, we are at Fine Arc. Even though their hospitality has been amazing. We don't want to leave here because these guys are fucking rad. Uh, but there's a shop right next door. They have like a whole bunch of Lambos, R34s, R35s, a whole bunch of fancy Japanese cars. So we're going to go over there. We're going to take Rob uh, Goodwin with us because he's a really good photographer. He wants to shoot it as well. So I'm going to look like, you know, I host like a TV show. Because I'm going to have two cameramen following me around. <laughs> Nobody is going to believe it. But we're going to go for it anyways. But uh, we're having a safety meeting first. And then we're going to go follow these fine people over at the shop next door. I think it's Harrison Performance. Because there's a trailer right there with that name on it. So we're going to go check it out. See how many cars they have. And uh, then we're out of here. We're going to uh, get out of Arizona and go to Texas. So, it's the right one that I said earlier. All right, we're also with uh, Robert Goodwin over here. Best, oh, hello. Best photographer ever over here. I don't know about that, but I'll oh, take it. Good. Best Those photographer we know. Shit. One of Carbon wheels? Carbon. Oh, yeah, Where are we going? Right here? Hey gentlemen, how are you? Yeah. We're uh, down from Florida. We're up filming that drift event. We yeah. might have this shop as well. We can take a look at it and get yeah. some film and then maybe get a tour. Yeah, you're Florida on Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. Hi. East Coast. Where is he? The shop looks amazing. All the cars you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys driving the, the van? Yeah, we're driving. Yeah, we have the van. So and <laughs> <what's that? laughs> I'm Craig, by the way. Richard. Richard, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Joel. Richard, nice to meet you. Rob. Yeah. Alright, so this is actually Richard Harrison's own car. It's their shop vehicle. It's got 205 or 2005 horsepower. It's crazy. Carbon fiber wheels. Carbon fiber everything. He even has a cool little plate on there showing what it's got for power. So do you wash the car and then the car blows up? Exactly. Probably can. Yeah, right? It didn't exactly blow up, but we think, uh, where's that guy? This guy right here decided to uh, burst open into a fiery mess. So hopefully, we got some extra coil packs. Put it in there. Mr. Magic Man waved his wand, and we shall fire on. You explained this one word to me. For you, for you. Not focused yet. It's part of the DME, right? It's Motor Sicherung. Motor what? Motor safety. Motor safety. All right, so that's the fuse box you for that. Stop that EC back in there, big guy. Uh, okay, I can't do that. Okay, BMW certified. Keon, just put Keon. Yeah. All right, guys, start praying. Yep, I got 12 volts oh, of coils now. I got 12 volts. 
12 volts of the coils. Fire it up. Yeah, teamwork. I miss firing. It gets hot. Well, they all get hot. I oh, guess okay. it's just the dwell. Put a. Oh, that one's super fucking hot though. Is the key off, D? Ha! Is that hot, huh? Is the key off? We need an ECU, but we need an ECU from Castle. That's unlocked and tuned. And all that fun stuff. So we're gonna put it on a trailer that this guy over here was kind Sounds enough big. to actually pull us the whole way over there. Should be a, uh, an interesting trip, to say the least. Um, I know some E36 guys in Austin that might have ECU stuff. Yeah, this is for E40, E46 engine. E46, okay. Yeah. I might, yeah, I can ask around, see if anybody knows anyone, but. Yeah, we gotta see about that. Yeah, I know. Time to get a no, Oh yeah, dude. That's the <laughs> best thing I've heard all day. You get a shirt. You gotta buy it though. <laughs> so we acquired the vehicle. Yes, we did, and you don't want to do this because this was an expensive one. This thing was 500 bucks just to be able to drop it there, plus all their insurance and stuff. So it was like a, a almost $800 fee to get this car to the next destination. So definitely don't recommend it. We couldn't have prevented what happened, but it is what it is. We got to get to the next one and keep driving or go home. So let's do this. We could have bought a whole E36 for have. this price. What's going on is this cop found us at our hotel room, saw the drift cars, and talked to the lady inside, got a hold of Thomas Miata, and the dude wants to take us out drifting and let us do videos with his cop car involved. And you're not gonna say no to a situation like that. You just go with it. So as you just saw, the van is puffing out white smoke. Good morning, D. How are you doing? Not a good way to start the morning. <laughs> Not a good way. On the way to fix another car, something happened. Let's just put some mechanic in a bottle and call it a day. But we just got here to the shop, Boost Logic, where Blue Thunder's literally sitting right there. And now we're gonna go fix Blue Fonda, and then now fix the van.
Oh, What's yeah. There's a plastic tab that around. separates the ECU from the drain. Yeah, oh, what we'll got in there? Uh, water. And Blue Devil? Uh, well, that's residual Blue Devil left over in this, but it was mostly from uh, it overheating and blasting. You know, Blue Devil's highly corrosive. Yeah. Yeah, don't say. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so we took the ECU back in there, new ECU, crickets, making sure this never ever happens again. Ever. If we can't open it, water can't get in. Chocolate. We're sealing Pandora's box right now. Pandora? You can't put Pandora back in the box, man. <laughs> Ready to go to Houston? Mission accomplished. We ate. We feel a lot better, and we're ready to go. You got alignment go too. You piece. got alignment during lunch or breakfast? Got an alignment during lunch. It was. It worked out really good in our favor. So we're about to drop the car at the airport and continue our journey. And as soon as this thing starts, there we go. There we go. What is this thing? Oh my god, it's automatic too. Oh. Chris, where are we at? So we are at Texas Tires and Parts here at Rudy's shop, Rudy Martinez. Um, we got really lucky out in Tucson. We ended up burning up an ECU. One of the resistors in the, for the coil packs ended up burning up inside there and popped our coil pack from a car wash or from steam or something like that. So we got that fixed. We were lucky enough to find somebody there who had an open trailer, towed us to Austin, Texas, where we found a guy who had the cable we needed and the ECU we needed, who took care of us on a Sunday, which was awesome. Got the car put together, drove another like almost three hours now, and she's here. So now we are getting everything prepped, getting the van cleaned up, and getting everybody ready to go to the track tomorrow. I don't know the name of the track we're going to, but we have to be quiet. No loud cars allowed. Allowed. No loud cars allowed. Gentlemen, hey, where are we? We are at Rudy's house. At Rudy's house? Yeah, it's Rudy from Texas Tires. Halfway through it either. Mm -hmm. We're going on to uh, track number two in the morning. Two and in the morning. Afterwards, you even recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's watching all the well, so after tomorrow's track, we get to leave straight from there and drive six hours to Nola Motorsports Park in New Orleans, and then sleep at the track to wake up early to drive that track uh, for two days, and then it's on the road again. On the road again. <laughs> yes. But the nice thing is when we get to NOLA, we get our trailer, which has all of our spare parts. We've got spare radiators, we've got spare transmissions, uh, axles, differentials, you name it, we have it in this trailer. So I'm pretty excited about that. We haven't needed any of the stuff yet. Thomas needed a radiator, but we gave him some Blue Devil instead. I <laughs> deal with it until we get there. So, good night. Good morning, Alhafa. What up? Very enthusiastic of you. The, <laughs> it's getting to me. <laughs> like the sleep, less sleep, less sleep, less Different sleep. Different time zones and driving and cars like, breaking I'm and other people breaking. Up. It's Monday. I'm a bit worried about what's going on back home, but I'm excited as fuck to drive and get the hell out of here and go to NOLA today. NOLA. 
So it's gonna be a long day, long day. We had to drive all day. There's a, it's a fan based one. Once we do that, I think at like five o'clock it shuts down. We drive another six hours to Nola. So we're gonna attempt to leave a little bit early. So just cause we get a head start because I-10 is a disaster. So in case something happens, we still have time to save. Bam, see you guys there. Watch right here. We actually have a nice little uh, roller coaster bar for him to hold on to, and uh, we're gonna send us down this go kart track. Oh, we've got hats, shirts, swag.
What's up? What you doing? Changing rotors. Why? And pads. So if you see these used to be slotted, hand drilled, now they're just drilled. Because our uh, our pads here just kind of been chewing through everything. As you can see, there's not much left. So, you see all the heat and discoloration here. Basically glazed over our rotors, glazed over our pads. So now we're gonna make the handbrake work again. Party going on? I have a party going on. You weren't you weren't here, and I didn't, I just had to figure out how to shut up the lights. It turned out pretty good. You did a great job. Where'd you find a remote? I didn't. I just plugged them in, and they turned on for me. They <laughs> like me.
choo, 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 choo. How are y'all? I'm doing lovely, thanks for asking. was amazing. If you get a chance to come here and drive the go-kart track, do it. It's worth it. So we are headed to Mid Pond now. We got a six hour drive and uh, we're gonna go to Alabama. We're halfway through our drift week, so stay tuned. We're doing good so far. In Alabama. Yeah. Take it to a classy seafood dinner. That's a lot. You missed lunch. This is the superior <laughs> picnic table, right? No, we're just eating on E36, like it's all good. Look at this now. This is superior chassis stuff. Mm -hmm. right? This is superior chassis stuff. Yeah, you don't eat on those cars. They drop your food. I don't have cup holders. I hold a bottle of water in my lap the whole time. And it sucks. <laughs>
words, 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 some words. Oh, word? Uh, word. Word. I, was in, I got in an accident today. It was pretty awesome. I uh, I also almost got in an accident because my lower control arm yeah. almost fell off, but I fixed it before it fell off. We, and in the bits, my wheels were like this. That's no bueno. We Here broke a um, carrier bolt for our diff. We broke. An, a, an axle and a wheel bearing. They're an axle and a wheel we'll bearing. Wheel bearing died on the way here. We're on axle trace, a key. Yeah, we're on um, axle four. Y'all replaced heading, three. We've replaced three. Y'all have replaced three axles. Yeah, we are on number four. Y'all are on number four. We're on number All four. This side, I know one thing Dorte sure. is an axle destroyer. We need yeah. to find beer. Find beer. We, no, we need to leave. We need to get out of here. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're taking off from here. We are heading to Gainesville for the night, and then Not we're me. heading back to uh, Fort Myers. Saturday, so tomorrow, and we're gonna have a nice little barbecue, a little bakery. Uh, See me on the other hand, party. I got about me and 12 other people heading to my house in Panama City Beach, and we're gonna go fix some cars and probably a eat lot, a lot, lot of food. Because shout out to Bryn, she's making us some dinner right now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're gonna wake up and head to see y'all tomorrow. Oh, okay. You're gonna come see me? Yep. You're gonna come to my house? I don't know. Maybe. Where's your house? Uh, like an hour south of Bradenton. Okay, cut it. Maybe. Cut! End it. Cut it. End and it. This is, see you uh, boys in Bradenton. We had fun here at Mid Pond. We will see y'all at the Freedom Factory. Hey, well, you'll see me at my house for a barbecue. No, you'll see us at Freedom Factory. Not you. <laughs> yeah. We are at the shop, finally, home. Shop with AC, even though they pulled up the door open. But we are just gonna go over the car. We got a little exhaust leak. We're gonna do front wheel bearings. Uh, we're probably gonna change the steering rack because we have a dead spot on our power steering in the center. Do an oil change, all that other stuff before we head back up to Bradington. And then we're headed up to the um, clutch kickers track. So, should be done by the end of today. And I can actually sleep in my own bed. Ready for that. Baby, here. What's up? Yours. Mine. Can't throw it off. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to clean it. Yeah, you got you got an escort just for you I'm right here. Over for oversized it. load. Yeah. Mr. Big over here. The goal for this next track is 400 laps. 400 laps. You hear 400 that, Magic laps. Man? 400 laps. Whatever. If he breaks stuff, now we got a trailer after this. Yeah. 400 <laughs> laps. Drive until he breaks something. Yep. And then we're gonna fix it while he drives the other car and go back and forth until. Oh, so we're bringing the other until car? Until his left foot starts hurting. We're bringing the other car? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Which okay. one? We got Mona. It's a challenge. 400 laps or bust.
looking for? I was gonna get the address. To where? The Clutch Kicker Shop. I'm uh, supposed to be barbecuing for everybody. Uh, they invited us over, bought a whole bunch of steak. They want us to cook it since they like that Brazilian style. So we're gonna cook some picanha. We invited all the other people from Drift Week 2 to come out and check out the Clutch Kicker Shop. And tomorrow we are here. We're gonna get 400 laps tomorrow? Yeah. Holy shit. Kickers Emporium, <laughs> right down here in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. We, got we are um, uh, currently chilling for Drift Week 2 at our track tomorrow at our Coast Dragway. Um, everyone's here just fixing their cars because y'all have been fucking them up all week long. So, yeah, you move way too tuned. much, bro. I, I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Like, uh...
Hi. Well, boys, that about concludes it for Drift Week 2. Last stop here was at Clutch Kickers Emerald Coast Dragway in Holt, Florida. It was a shaboozle of a time. Everyone got to shred. Shit got broke. People had fun. Beer's being drank now. Food's being cooked. Thanks to Careless. Um, yeah, we had a great time, and we love you all. Thanks for coming, and stay tuned to Joelle's video because it's going to be fucking sick. Four points at Sheraton. Oh, Stealing Valinos. That's what I'm saying. You gotta go on. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Great, 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 Mark. We're closing up right now, closing up shop. Once again, thanks again for coming out. See you next time. December 5th and 6th, the best fun day. Merry Christmas! Yeah!